If you have an HP Omen laptop, like it or not, you're going to have to use the Gaming Hub to control a lot of its aspects. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Ganador Technology and today I'm making life less painful for you by telling you how you can fix the Gaming Hub not opening. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, resetting or re uh, repairing the gaming hub. So to do this, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and click on installed apps. Once we're here, Windows settings will open and we'll give it a second to load up. Now just search for Omen Hub, Omen Gaming Hub right here. Go all the way to the other side, click on these three dots and then click on advanced options. Now, if you scroll down in advanced options, you will see an option to either reset or uh, repair the installation. Uh, as usual, what you're going to have to do is to first click on repair. You'll see a small progress bar pop up. Let this bar run out and Windows will automatically attempt to repair any issues with the gaming hub. If this doesn't work, you can go ahead and reset the application and relaunch it. That way, all of your application data, including any corrupt files in the cache or something that might be causing this issue, will be removed. So you're going to have to log in again. But other than that, these two things should really uh, fix whatever issue is causing Gaming Hub to not open up properly. The next step is to check the HP Omen HSA service. So uh, big surprise, HP actually requires a bunch of services to run in the background for its software utilities and we're going to check if they are running. So just press the start menu and search for services. Click the first button that pops up. And now in this list, we are going to find the HP Omen service, which is this one right here. As you can see, there are a bunch of HP services for a lot of different HP apps. So it's the app helper, com, diagnostics, insights, network. We are interested in HP Omen HSA. Make sure that it is running and make sure that the startup type is set to automatic. If it's not, just right click this, head over to properties. And in here, you can change the startup type to automatic. And if the service isn't running, you can click the start button to enable it and then try relaunching the home and gaming hub and it should open up just fine. The next fix is to check for updates to the gaming hub. Now, uh, if you've installed it from the Microsoft store, then uh, updating should be as easy as Microsoft Store, finding the update and pushing it. So you can click this download button right here when the Microsoft Store is open. And then in the top, you'll get this get updates button. Just click on it. And now Windows will automatically find uh, and download any updates to the apps that you're using, including Omen Hub. Alternatively, you can also go to the Omen uh, Gaming Hub website. So. If I were to just look for omen.com, click on Omen Gaming Hub, you will see this download button right here. This will download the latest version of uh, whatever is the latest version of the Omen Gaming Hub. So this is a manual way of getting the latest version. Alternatively, you can just ask Windows to look for updates and if there are any, it will find and install them. Moving on, you can also try manually downloading the Omen Gaming Hub SDK package. Now this SDK package is what requires uh, is required by the Gaming Hub to be able to function properly on HP Omen laptops. In order to download this, you're going to have to head over to the HP support website where you'll be downloading drivers. I'll provide a link of this page in the description below. Now we're going to click on laptop because that's what I'm working with. And now it's going to ask you for your serial number, product number or product name. So let me enter my laptop's name here real quick. And HP Moment Transfer 14. It will ask you to select operating system. Mine is 23 version 23H2. And here we go. So now you will see a list of all the different uh, drivers that HP has from you. And under utility tools, you will see the HP Omen Gaming Hub SDK package. It's only like a 20 minute, uh, 20 MB download. As you can see, this was updated uh, rather recently. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Um, I 
don't want to download the it, sp will ask you to download and install its assistant you don't need it just click on oh my god just click on no thanks i will download and install manually and your download should start once this download is finished go ahead and run this executable file and then try relaunching the hp omen gaming hub and that should work fine without any issues finally if nothing else works your best bet is to give a clean reinstall uh, to the omen gaming hub app now doing this is also rather easy just press windows key plus x to open the quick access menu and then click on installed apps the same as the first step we'll wait for this to load up search for omen the gaming hub is right there go all the way to the right click on more options and then click uninstall windows will ask are you sure you want to uninstall it we are sure so we're going to go ahead and click uninstall and that's it now the omen hub is gone you can uh, check out our video on how to install the latest version of gaming hub or on a quick sense you can always go to the microsoft store and just search for omen gaming hub and it will appear and then you can go ahead and install the omen gaming hub from the microsoft store and that should give you the latest version and the ability to auto update whenever an update rolls in if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video